come out of it. That's right. He was looking like a humble lamb. Oh, yeah. But he spoke with the mouth of the dragon. dragon. Yep. All right. It exercised all the authorities of the first beast on, beast on its behalf and made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast whose fatal wound had been healed. It performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to the earth in the full view of people. Because of the signs it was given power to perform on behalf of the first beast, it deceived the inhabitants of the earth. It ordered them to set up an image to honor the beast who had been wounded by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to give breath to the image of the first beast. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads so they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast for the number of man. The number is 666. And why we going through changing clips? I, I want to talk about how powerful the false prophet is. Now we we we, we talking about we know the Antichrist is, is very powerful, mm -hmm. but we're gonna find out that, that the false prophet is just as powerful as the Antichrist, mm -hmm. and we're gonna find out that that. that that the, the false prophet going to be handing out more instruction than the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see all this as we go on. So I'm going to read this and then we're going to get to discuss what he was talking about, this power that the false prophet got. This say, who is the false prophet? This is the person who will serve as the right hand man to the Antichrist. He will encourage everyone to worship the first beast, which is the Antichrist, and the statue of the first beast. He actually encourage the people to build the statue mm -hmm. of the first beast. He will be with, and able to perform miracle signs and wonders. He will be able to call down fire from the sky since God revealed himself by fire to Moses. The false prophet is going to use fire to make himself seem legitimate. Mm -hmm. um, his po powers do not just include calling down fire from the sky, but he will appear to make the statue speak. Right. All right. So here we are. We have this false prophet. He is influential. He is influential. And as we begin to get down a little bit deeper and we start um, equating this false prophet and this one word religion, you will see how he manages to be so influential. Um, but he is very influential. Um, people are going to just listen to what he got to say because his title is actually out there today and people actually listen to it already but I ain't going into names yet and we're just going to kind of but it's very influential and that's why everybody's like well, he's a false prophet well we already know he's coming in the Bible says he's going to be like a lamb he's going to seem like a lamb He's gonna come in there and he's gonna speak. You think the Antichrist is gonna speak good things? Well, this the one right here helping pumping the Antichrist mission along. So he's gonna speak very good things that people want to hear. What you got to say? Well, I go back to what I was saying, elaborate on that. Verse 12 says he exercised all the power of the first beast, beast before him. And caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, who then the wound was healed. And he do it great wonders, like you said, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And as, as I started to prepare for this, mm -hmm. I find out that the, the Antichrist, he's gonna be more on the war side. But the false prophet is going to be on the religious side, mm -hmm. trying to win the hearts of people. Mm -hmm. Even though the Antichrist is going to win, but through the false prophet, 
coming in and, and, and like I say, coming as a lamb, but when he opened his mouth, if, 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 if you got wisdom, you, you be able to identify that this is not of God. This, mm -hmm. this, he, he, he tried to be lamb like Jesus, but something wrong with this picture. Because when Jesus spoke, humbleness came out. Mm -hmm. And he was the lamb of God. And, and when the false lamb spoke, the words of the dragon come out. So the false prophet, he is so he is so influential. How do you say it? You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he just can get everybody. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm kind of reminded of evangelists of, of things going on in this world today where people are trying to influence people and uh, using the right techniques and tactics to uh, convince them of something that's not. Mm -hmm. And so. The false prophet is going to come in to convince the people that the Antichrist do worship. You need to give him worship. And, and, and it just, 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 just troubled me to see how many people are going to be falling for it. I ain't going to fall for that. I beg the difference. You falling for what's going on now. And I'm going back there just a little bit. I got to touch a little bit. On the one that, that, that we, we talking about that Roman Empire. And you talking about, you know, influencing the people. Other than the president of the United States. Well, he can influence more people than the president of the United States. Because the president of the United States is trying to influence the United States. Mm -hmm. But there's an individual that got power. To influence people all over, all over the, the world. world. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I guess I shouldn't say the Vatican because that's where you're gonna. I mean, you know, we're gonna be talking about that later. On. How many people that y'all may know in the religious realm that speak with people all over the world? And all over the world, everybody listening at this one individual. <sighs> we shouldn't say that. Nah, we 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 not. We, we do we supposed to call this name a little later on, or, or, or could we mention it now? We 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 gonna kind of kind of we gonna do a little back history of, of this and then. Oh, because he itching, he's itching to. to, to. Mm. <laughs> to put this out there. Um, and, I, and of course, you know, I'm always itching because anytime we deal with anything with the, the Antichrist and the false prophet, I'm always itching. But this right here. Now, this is what he's going to be in charge over. But when I read you these things, then you go understand why we're going to use the name that we're going to use. It says, uh, what is the one word religion? Do we know exactly what the one world religion is going to be? No, we don't know. But, however, there are several clues that point towards the religion that has already been established. Come on. One is the location of the rise of the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, we talked about the, uh, and when we talk about the Antichrist, we talked about the Roman Empire. That this empire, even though it fizzled, it never died. It never just, it was there, just in dormant. Okay? So we know that the Antichrist is going to come from somewhere over there in the Roman area. Mm. Well, yeah, number one. Okay, before you go, let me, let me, let, let, let me tell the way. You know, the, the location to look for him. Okay. The Roman Empire include these today countries, territories, most of Europe, mm -hmm. England, Wales, Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Australia, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Belgium, Gibraltar, Romania, Moldova, Ukraine, Costa North of Africa, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Marco, Egypt, Barkin, Habania. So that lets you know in that area. So I want you to know 
The false prophet of Antichrist is not coming out the United States. No. So get that out your mind. We not part of the Roman Empire. Empire. Okay. At all. Okay, you good. Okay. So this leader's influence on people. This leader has influence on people. This is the only religion where the main leader has influence over congregation no matter where the head priest is. Okay, so we have locations for this religion set up all over the world. You know, you usually got Muslim. We got Muslims set up all over the world, but they mostly in Muslim territories, and each Muslim set got their own set of followings that they have, um, Islamic followings. Um, you got your Muslim extremists. You got your, your traditional Muslims. You got your... Over here in the United States, you got your black Muslims, but they they don't follow a one particular leader. They get, they follow their one particular God, which is Allah, but they don't follow one particular leader. Come on. Okay, Christianity. We have Jesus Christ, but we don't have one specific leader. We got different pastors, pastors, we got different organizations, the Baptists, the Methodists, and all that kind of stuff, but we don't have that one particular leader. Mm -hmm. um, but this religion, I ain't said it ain't yet, has a one particular um, leader that all the people, all the congregations, they resort back to this one particular leader. See, I want to call, I'm going to call them the, call them the pastors of these churches. They don't call them pastors, but I'm going to call them because I don't want to call that name just yet. Mm -hmm. But all of them report back to this one particular leader. Pastor, tell me what other religion got that. Don't know what. Okay. Uh, this religion, now mind you, this got to be able to imitate Christ. Yep. So the religion has to imitate Christianity. It has to have similarities to Christianity. This religion has similarities to Christianity. They believe according to them in Jesus Christ, but they believe they have to go through a man to get to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I ain't gonna get into that yet either. But uh, this is the world oldest single religious international operation. This is international. Yes. This religion is, you can find this religion in every single country that you go in. Yes. So if you looking for a church for this religion that you out of the country, you can, you find, can find one. You can find mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, They teach that they are the one true church. Yeah. That you got to go through them in order to get to, to heaven. That's what they teach. Uh, uh oh, this might give a little, little boy away. But this Roman religion was established during the Roman government of Constantine, the emperor of Rome, Constantine. Mm -hmm. Um, because at that time when he went to war, he believed that um God was fighting with him, right? Because he had some he, because Roman Empire. Let's take it back now. Roman Empire conquered a lot of areas. Yes, they did. A lot of areas. Yes, they did. The, the kingdom was humongous. So you got people that were Christians in this, this area at this time because it was conquered. At the time when um, Jesus was born, the Romans was already ruling that area. Yep. Okay? And then all these different other, and they bring it together, all these different religions. So we got to have some control over these people. So we got to establish a one religion. So yeah, they had a one religion established at that time. They was bringing in pagan beliefs and mixing it with Christianity. Let me stop. 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 But you tell it. But they were bringing in it and mixing it with Christianity. But they needed to have a fundamental foundation. And let me tell you, but the pastor was talking about how influential this is. Even when the Roman government. Died down to it was the Roman Empire was psh, they still kept going still because ain't they going. had so much influence ain't going today and so even though the Roman Empire sizzled out that religion never ever ever stopped nor slowed down. Matter of fact, it intensified. 
So we are we gonna talk about it now that we don't get have I know your mind is wondering if you have any knowledge of religious, your, your mind is already like that sound like? Who that sound like? Yeah. Well, and, and we want to go and, and talk about his imitation. Mm -hmm. We find out that the Antichrist, when he say beast, he is a man. So we're not talking about some ah, not talking about that. Mm -mm. Talking about literally man. Man, yes. So if the first beast was a man, mm -hmm. the second beast have to be a man. Okay. And let's talk about he will come out the earth, which is the same as coming out of the sea. Mm -hmm. Coming out the, the earth, the people. So he a man. Mm -hmm. He coming from among people. Yes. And when you say sea, you're talking about a lot of people. But he coming up. I just want to hear just a couple of things. There's no imitation that he will be from the underworld of a departed spirit. So he's not coming from Hades, or uh, he not coming from more uh, absence of wherever. He coming out the Roman oh, Empire. Was I supposed to say? Go ahead and say it. He coming out the Roman Empire. This individual, this man, I seen a clip the other day, I seen it before, but I seen it again. Where an uh, individual mm -hmm. at the Roman area mm -hmm. want to bring every religion together. Mm -hmm. And he went on to use Joseph as an example of how his brothers had to come to Joseph you know and, and apologize and reconcile. So he said that all these different brothers must come to the big brother and reconcile. Be all as one. Mm. Mm. You said it before I said it. Let, let me tell you how easy, how easy it is going to be. Okay, so today, everybody want to holler about they're spiritual. I'm not connected to just one particular religion. I'm, I'm spiritual. Meaning, they, they, they grasp a little bit out of this religion. If, if it uh, appeases their lifestyle, they'll grasp a little bit out of that one and that one. So they say they're a spiritual person. Okay, so now if I have a man coming to tell me, hey, we can have a religion where you can get all that in one. Ah, you could, whatever appeases your lifestyle, we, we don't judge him. You know, those Christian people, they were judging. They were, they were judging. They ain't here no more. Is this right here? Unity. We, we unity. We all we got all come you. In. We all. <laughs> ain't no big eyes and no, no little you. Youth. We all got children. They ain't saying nothing about Jesus. But we all got children. And remember, there's different guys. This check can be a God. Mm. So, you know, we all got children. We all going to come in. So, when people nowadays are already hollering about they spiritual and they, they, they looking, you know, I, I just don't connect with this. I, I got this and this. It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. Because it's already. It is, this is the precursor to, to this one world government, one world religion. And they are ready for that 2014. In the clip, in the bottom of this, uh, if, especially if you're looking at if you ain't looking at it on YouTube and you're looking at it on Facebook, run back to YouTube and right at the bottom, there will be a clip of 2014 religious convention. That you didn't know anything that you didn't know about. Nothing about. And you'll find out who was in the middle of this. Was it somebody from America that run this up? Mm -mm. Over there in Canada, maybe? Mm -mm. Russia? Mm -mm. Iran? Mm -mm. I wonder where this individual come. But I'll tell you what, this individual is so powerful. Like you said, he's going to make people he's gonna be so persuasive. He would deceive men by miracles. He would do in the sight of the first beast. 
So he's going to do miracles in front of the Antichrist that's going to mess people up. And see, right now, people are looking for miracles mm -hmm. because they hadn't seen one in a while. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and, and, and go say, I, I got one of them. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and, and the reason the church is not seeing miracles like we supposed to because we done drifted away from God. Mm -hmm. So there's somebody that's going to come up with an imitation mm -hmm. going to give them some of the things that they want. Exactly. Going to give them some of these miracles. Then he's going to make some fire come to us and that's the man. That's the man. And the piggy back on what he said, you know they already have those little things that they have going on. You know the 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 um Virgin Mary crying, tears of blood and all that, them different kind of things like that. So they already had these these little false miracles. Uh, I know that that's another give, telltale giveaway, but but I'm just saying that. So they already got the precursors. So if that's already going on, so when I start calling down fire from out of heaven, well, in other words, that'd be a little small thing. Yeah, they, people would go all over just to go worship this virgin, particular virgin Mary. Come. And, and you said earlier that this individual mm -hmm. will give life to an image. Mm -hmm. Give life. Give life. To an image. Mm -hmm. You make the image speak. Mm -hmm. mm. So he must be a powerful individual. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. And it's going to be a second clip in there too. It, on the bottom if you look. I'm going to have a second clip posted in that YouTube clip. And this is about how powerful this individual is. See, this is the... I don't want to go there, but I got to go there to get go to where I got to go. Go there. So, we... There's a false prophet, and then there's a false prophet spirit. Come on. All right. And so, we have some of our so-called Christian... Tell it like it is. Supposedly spiritual leaders... Mm-hmm. Um, practicing false doctrine, practicing false teaching. They get influenced by this so-called man. So I'm gonna put a, a clip in there about that, so y'all can see what we'll see what we're talking about. See, we don't we don't just want to talk about something we don't know. And we're talking about big name individuals that you see they name all in a Christian channel if you turn on. And, and, and some of y'all probably done sent some finances to mm -hmm. one of the individuals. Mm -hmm. And I can't say nothing because before I came to the light, I sent some finances to one of the individuals. That's why words say study to show thyself proof of what you study and learn. Then you stop doing that well, so what I was doing, Evangelist, I would listen to what he said and, 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 and instead of reading what the word said. Because he's a big man, he on TV, mm -hmm. and a whole lot of people are lying, and so he, he must be telling the truth. That's just like what they think about this man that influencing. They ain't reading their word, they just going by what he said. So he must be telling the he truth. He must be telling the truth. Because according to them now, he is the head man of one of the apostle Peter. That's where his role come from mm -hmm. as this. Yeah. But let me tell you, um, no he ain't. But he uses his platform to be so influential and because people don't read and study their word like they supposed to and get knowledge for themselves, whatever he say, Okay, we was talking about this at Bible study. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, the Bible study teacher ain't here, but I'm going to hit this up because, you know, he was talking about, yeah, a lot of times we come to church on Sundays, on Wednesdays, and there's a few scriptures handed out, and whatever that person has said, we just go with that scripture. We don't bother to go back, look up, check up. Our Bible's closed on Sunday. It don't open on Wednesday. It open Wednesday. Close when we get ready to leave. Don't open the Sunday. That's how he going to be able to come in and tell y'all what he want to tell y'all. And, and, and you just so much on it, Evangelist. Now check this out. He will make a law that no man might buy or sell. Now ain't talking about the Antichrist. We talking about the false. The, the joke is powerful. 
He will make a law that no man may buy or sell if he does not take one of the three brands. Mm. He will be equal to the first beast, and we know who that is, in sending demon spirits working through ambassadors mm. to gather the nation. Go ahead, go ahead. Go finish me that. Finish, finish me that first. I'm again. Now let's leave to I'm again. Okay. He said ambassadors. Yeah, but this, yes. this, this one religion already got people all over the world that they consider, even though that's not what they call them, but they consider them as ambassadors. They all over the world. All over the world. All right. So it's going to be easy. And, and I see it all the time. Wait, wherever this man go, I don't know if I want to say it. People go kiss his ring. Mm -hmm. People just, you know, he just ride by in a, in, 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 in a jeep with with, with a bulletproof window. I'm about to, I, I, you know, I'm talking to myself like what? And he go ride, and everybody just hailing, hey, 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 they reaching out, hey. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna tell you about this one right here. It, it might not, I'm not saying he the one, but it, it, but that title, but, but but that spirit. One lady grabbed him, and he slapped the hand back. But he had on the lamb. He had on the lamb. I said, but out of him came that dragon spirit. Hit that lady. Uh, mm -hmm. hey y'all. I better not tell y'all who that is. Well, I'm gonna go on to, to say to say this. Um that this particular one that's carrying the title now at, at this particular time. Uh -huh. He's saying that we got to get away from their dogma, their their spiritual belief of being only being able to, to get through, you know, God, you know, they, they wait. They they spend more time worrying about their 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 dogma, biblical prophecy, the biblical um learnings than they are about caring about people. And that's why they they don't know how to be tolerant to homosexuals and people having abortions and and we as being this religion, we got to be tolerable to these things. We, we got to forget about this. Yes, this is this, but no, that, that we got to spread love to everybody, and that's the platform to use. Now, we know that Jesus is love, right? We, we don't doubt that. That, that. that is the whole. He's using that to justify Oh, going back to what you said, Evangelist, taking a few scriptures and just turning and, and, and shaping. This same individual said that uh, if you sin, you ain't going to hell. God, ain't, ain't, God ain't, ain't no God like God is not that type of God. Mm -mm. Well, you know, do your research. Do your research. Do your research. And but you know, in a sense, he he, he he right. God don't send you to hell. He send yourself to hell by disobeying. I don't care what he went completely wrong. He twisted. He, he, he twisted it now. But he went completely wrong. Yeah, he might he, he might about ten percent right. He might be ten percent right <laughs> and the other ninety percent wrong, which he was. <laughs> but he right. God don't God just don't send innocent people to hell. Ah. Oh man, if you don't know your word, if you don't know your word, this day and time, people can fall for anything. I'm seeing that people fall for anything. Anything. If there's a platform for an individual to get up and speak and be allowed to speak, he can influence thousands, thousands of people. But this one individual you talking about. Well, I ain't gonna say that, but. Got about eight, 1.8 million followers all over the world now. Y'all didn't hear that from me though. Ooh. Already. That's a lot of people. And I believe it's gonna 
be quite a bit more when the church get wrapped up. Wrapped it up. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be on the scene. Mm -hmm. So that number is going to grow. It's going to grow. Some more followers is coming. Hmm. Like I said, they already in all parts of the world anyway. Those that wasn't captured, wasn't part of this. And since they ain't going to be raptured up, that means he will be here. And they'll be waiting on Mother Mary to some Hail Marys to, to deliver them. Yeah, because you got to go through him. You can't go to get to heaven. You got to go. You even got to go to the priest. To, did I say that? To confess your sin. Don't get up let me know who we're talking about the word. You got to go there to confess your sin instead of just going to the cross and asking, Man, just forgive me for the sin that I've committed. I know I've done wrong. You go to the throne of grace. You got to get this. Let's go to the throne of grace. But well, no, you got to go sit in the box. And then you tell me lately some of the ones that they've been sitting in the box with molestation and everything, but we ain't going there. But they go in there, but Father, for I have sinned. I can imagine someone saying, I have sinned too, but I'm not going to tell you about it. And they already have little um, false little images. They got people holding in their hands and, and worshiping and stuff like that. You know, we got to carry this with us wherever we go. If it, if it ain't in our hands, it's attached to our robe on the side, but so in other words, you tell me all this sin is climaxing, getting ready for that second beast to come along with that first mm -hmm. beast. Easy. So all this, everything is just just, just, just fine tuning itself. Fine tuning. And so when it when, when when the beast show up, it'll be easy. He won't have no opposition. He won't have no opposition because they already got everything in line for him. And let me tell y'all this: back in that day. When this this um, religion first came to to the forefront, it was so influential that it even helped control some of the moves of the government. So that's why he's going to be able to say people what they can buy and what they cannot buy because it had that much influence then. And God still had his hands on the earth. Now, then when God takes his hand off so judgment can come, just imagine how much influence it's going to have. And the Bible says, you know, that, that you know, Satan is the prince of the world. Mm -hmm. And so he, 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 he got some power, y'all. Regardless of whether you want to accept it or not, he got some power. The only power we got is, is what we give to him as a Christian. Mm -hmm. But for the one that's not saved, he got so much power over them. He got a lot of power over them. Oh, you you ain't worth living. Kill yourself. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. Jump, jump in the, just, just jump off the bridge. Jump. That, that Satan got so much power. Y'all think he don't have power. He got power. He got power. He talked to us as Christians. Nobody ain't gonna like you, this, that, and up. Why do you think people so easily to, to stop preaching sound doctrine? Because he get in their head. Oh, ain't, they ain't gonna like you. You gonna lose your congregation if you start talking about this, that, and, and the other. Don't and, mention that, and, and he be in there just talking it. And we... Yeah, that, that, you sound right. I, that might be too harsh for me. It, 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 it might be. I heard one preacher say, I'm not going to call him a name, say he refused to preach to them by hell on Sunday because they don't went through hell all during the week. But if I ain't mistaken, Jesus continuously, mm -hmm. all week long, spoke about hell. Then when he went in, <laughs> To the synagogue, you best believe hell come up there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But like you said, he get into don't say that. Don't say, don't say they all be gone. How you gonna pay the bill? Mm -hmm. I tell you, 
Thank them having to pray. If nobody don't come but us and we can't pay the bill, we'll, we'll shut the church down, but we're going to continue to tell the truth. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, we still, we the one that got to step before God. But in other words, we, when you step before God, it, it ain't going to be no yeah. they say. It ain't going to be no they say. It's going to be one of one, 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 one conversation with him. Well, God, you know, pastor did this, a uh, uh, sister so-and-so did that, uh, that's my, you know, I ain't going to be able to do that. So, why you ain't speak the truth? Well, I didn't want to lose so-and-so, so-and-so. Why you ain't speak the truth? But, and he started asking me this question, why I ain't speak the truth? And I'm still coming up with excuses till he said, box me. And, and, you, and I was listening to what you said. In fact, you didn't say you lost me anyway because you didn't tell him the truth. Exactly. Wow. Oh. So, yeah. Well, if you believe it or what you don't, we still going to tell you the truth. We're going to tell you what the word is saying. Yes, and so like she was saying, with everything going on in the church now, the preachers are lying in the thing to go on, and, and people's doing in the thing, and heard one place what he was talking about, somebody was talking about this, where you go to the church will make you comfortable. You go to the church will make you comfortable, so if... If if I go to your church and, 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 and you trying to live right and, and, and I know that I'm committing adultery, I'm at the wrong church. I need to go where the preacher at where he committing adultery. That way he can't preach that because he, he doing it himself. Well, but let me say you know, let me let me say this. Okay. When we start mixing our religion with pagan religion back in the Bible, Come God on. destroyed bunches and bunches of people because he said, don't mix. So when we start being tolerable and we start mixing stuff, we are going contrary to the word of God. His word changes not. The same thing about mixing back then is the same thing as mixing to these days. So being spiritual and what to mix all these stuff? You're playing paganism. Yes. You yes. that that's pure and simple. Yes. Paganism. You're worshiping different things. You're worshiping idol things. That's not God. There's only one God. The Alpha and the Omega, beginning and the end. One. And, and one. The only one way to Him. And that's Jesus Christ. Even though. I ain't, gonna, I ain't, I ain't I'm just going to say retro. I ain't not going to say the first part of the name. Saying that there's more than one way to Christ. I meant to, to God. Christ is not the only way, only door. And people listen to that because she got a platform. She got a platform. And so if she got a platform and she a billionaire, she must be telling the truth. So now it's somebody that we're higher than her. If he got on that white robe and the cap and billions of people following him. He must be telling the truth. But we, if we retract a little bit and go back to the Bible, as you said, the Bible says, broad is the road that leadeth to the destruction. Narrow is the way that leadeth to eternal life. We just say it. Oh. That's what the Bible says now. How you feel about this evangelist is, is irrelevant. It's what God said. Somebody asked me, well, what you think, you know, what you think about, this it, part, we still in the message. Well, what you think about uh, homosexual? What I think about homosexual don't mean a hill of be. What do God say about it? That's and that's what people got to realize. Got, but this all part of this some false doctrine. That's gonna take place in these last days. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. in, in the last day, that's what you said, they're gonna to try to incorporate all these different religions. Yep. If you look around this individual, you'll see some of those same people. LGBT, near this individual. Mm hmm And one of them them. You won't go to hell. <laughs> grasp yourself. One out there were killing all the babies with the abortion. 
Let me say something. This is part of religion too. That you're gonna bring everybody talking about when when back there in the Bible days when they was killing the babies, you know, making sacrifices. It's more babies being sacrificed. See, the Antichrist, Satan, they come out for blood. Mm -hmm. And so the even the abortion. And then that, that's part of, of Satan's sacrifice. That blood that being slaughtered. And but see, when he but that boy is powerful coming, that second beast, tell the people it's alright for abortion. Mm -hmm. It's alright, like you said, with this right here. It's alright. Just because your, your daddy killed somebody and oh, don't worry about that. Or just be, just because your daddy commit committed suicide, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Everybody is going to heaven. You gotta stop at purgatory, but you're gonna get there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. That and, that's where you go at. That's what they say. When you ain't got it just right and you got to go to that last thing, you gotta to go to purgatory before they let you in heaven. Yeah, yeah, you you gonna float right out there in the atmosphere for a while. Until evangelists come and pray on them. When evangelists pray in, then you can go on in there. Mm -hmm. A lot from the pits of hell. <laughs> like evangelists say, if you, if you ain't getting it before you left him, too late. Too late. Yeah, we all we can talk about this all day. We we draw it to the close, but we we, we it's certain parts of this we can talk about all day long. But you said. You said, you said, those spirits are already manifesting themselves. Mm -hmm. And everybody know we just all oftentimes look at the Antichrist, the spirit of the Antichrist. But the spirit of the false prophet Prophets. also. Everywhere. 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 Everybody prophets. Everybody, everybody. prophets. I ain't never seen so many prophets. You got people now that will say walking on water. Ooh. He went there. <laughs> I shouldn't have went there. <laughs> he went there. And you got a mega preacher right along with him. He went there too. Oh. He went there. <laughs> People, read your Bible. Don't go on what me evangelist said. I'm nobody. Pick up the word of God and study for yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Even with us teaching here. You should always go back and backtrack what we're saying to the word of God. Always. Always. Um, never just take anybody's word for it. For it. Always study to show thyself approved. Study. Knowledge is power. You want some power? Get some biblical knowledge and you will have some power. Woo! And she said something so profound that because if you get that biblical knowledge then you begin to speak some of the things of God because he'll begin to reveal and show to you some hidden treasures. For the world of knowledge, the world of knowledge, Paul said, he kind of done. Am I right about it? Ain't that what he said? But to, to grasp hold to the things and the word of God is what he wants. What seen uh, uh, Insignificant to you, the word of God meant a whole lot to Paul, mm -hmm. to the apostles, mm -hmm. to the prophets. That's when you see miracles. And like you said earlier, we get this Bible and on, 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 on Sunday, man, we, we, we follow the two scriptures that the preacher gives to the teeth. On Wednesday, you might get about four if, if they talk about it. And then we shed it down. Like they go through, dissect this thing. It's all right for you to read the Bible. And if you don't know, it, it, ask the Holy Spirit to show you. He'll begin to reveal some hidden things. But don't want in the flesh, man. Now don't, don't, don't think that you can... Hmm. Don't think that you can go lay it up with a woman tonight and come back home and pick up your Bible and God's going to speak to you. And if he's gonna speak to you, it ain't, it ain't be what you want to hear. Now I'm gonna leave it like that right there. Our I, I time here, we, we run out of time. Here. We run out of time. Oh, 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 we've got a few more minutes.
Well, let, let's let, let's close out before we go about that. Uh, uh, give give a quick overview about the your your outlook of the false prophet. Well, my outlook of the false prophet is this man being super super influential. Um, my thing is like I said because people run with movements. They, I, I say this all the time, people run with movements. You see it so much without even taking the time to dissect. If somebody, a group of people moving this way, people like to feel important. And they like to follow whichever way the group is moving so they can feel important. Whether the group was right, wrong, or indifferent. By this, he's going to be that, he's gonna be that way. And people are going to flock. People flock now. 1.8 million people flock now. Will you uncap this before you go? Go ahead and uncap it. Okay. So 1.8 million people flock to the Catholic Church now. 1.8 million people. 1.8 million people follow the Pope. Now, I'm not saying this particular Pope that's in there now is the false prophet. You're not saying that. What we're saying is this that title carries over and people follow that title. So whoever has that title is a very influential um, person. This person is invited by different governments. You don't have preachers from everywhere being invited by different governments. But this person is invited to different government functions. Um, invited to a whole bunch of things that take place in different parts of, of the world because of the influence and the power that that title of the Pope carries. It carries, it carries a lot. Then Catholicism, it piggybacked off when I was talking about it mimics, mimics Christianity because it started back then. The Roman Empire if you really go back and look and see how big the Roman Empire was, the Roman Empire was astronomical in size. There has never been another empire that big before, ever. Nor will there will be as far as earthly empires are concerned. It's never going to be an uh, empire that big. The only one that's going to be in that reign is the, the one that's going to be up on the the um, Antichrist, and that is going to be a Roman Empire. Whether they use the name Roman Empire, because that is what it's going to be, because that's what the Bible says that it is. So this is a big empire. A big empire has to have a religion, a religion that's inclusive, because now we got people from all over the world in this religion, so it has to be an inclusive religion. Because everybody got to be able to accept it. So we're going to have pagan practices. Well, let's be true. Pagan practices already take place in this religion. But it is going to be intensified from the pagan practices of the old Roman Empire, the old Roman Catholic um, Church. It's going to be bigger. Um, because Satan is going to have full reign and control because God is going to lift his hand because his hand has to be lifted for judgment to take place. Mm -hmm. um, ain't going to be no Christians here to, to pray to God because, see, when I heard, heard, heard somebody talking about prayer and don't be worried about praying. Yes, you do. Prayer, prayer sustains things. Yes, sir. Prayer, prayer moves God's heart. Yeah, pray without ceasing. And, and the Bible say pray without ceasing. It moves God's heart. So a lot of times when, if you even look back in the Bible, when stuff should have been destroyed right then, because somebody went and prayed about it, somebody went and worshiped and talked to God about it, he held his hand. It's in the Word. But now Christians not going to be here to, to hold God's hand. <laughs> We're going to be wrapped up. We're going to be up there with God. So ain't nobody going to be there to hold God's hand. So God's hand is going to go up like this and say, here go your seven years. Do what you got to do in these seven years. And we already talked about the first seven, three and a half years is going to be so peaceful. This world, one world religion going to come in and just going to show peace all over the world. That's sucking people's in. And, and we're, we're just going to, you see this great.
So now we as being the spiritual body of this world peace, we're going to go and worship this man that, that, that brought it. And then we're going to build a statue. In his image. In his image. Because we got to be able to, we got to have that one ground in place that we can all come and, and, and worship. And in this image, everybody going to want to see it, whether they looking at the Vine video, whether they traveling to see it, because this image is talking. Mm -hmm. So, this man having all these powers and all this able to do this is going to wreak havoc. And let me throw this little nugget because we definitely closed it out. The mark that he chooses to use, you know why he chooses to use that mark? Because he knows that God is going to mark his 144,000. I got to imitate. Mm -hmm. So we got to have a mark. Yep. He want to mark his. He want to mark his. And, but, guys, if you're watching this after the rapture, please, 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 if you ain't took that mark, please don't take don't that take mark. Don't take it. Don't take it. In, in the closing nugget, uh, we, we probably run over our time pretty good now, is that uh, don't follow the Antichrist or the false prophet. Because the devil is so trickery. He tricking them. Mm -hmm. He is so deceiving. They're going to get cast alive in the lake of fire a thousand years before the devil even get there. Now, Jesus went to death, Calvary for us. He said it never been a lake of fire before he get there. Don't, don't listen to what they say. Don't let it, like you said, if you ever take the mark, you, you, you'll never be with God in this kingdom. Ever. You'll never be with God. You, you forever separate yourself from God if you take that mark. And it's so easy now because people, you know, even with the, uh, Tattoos and stuff they get on. So all, all that part of it, I'm not saying nothing wrong with them, I'm just saying it just helped making it easy for somebody. It's, it's, you see people with tattoos all over their bodies, from the head all the way down. So it's just a little thing saying it, it keep the government off me. Yeah, go ahead and get it. Don't take it. Like she said, you'd be able to separate from God. You don't want to do that. And, you know, me and her, we, we, we smile and we laugh sometimes, you know, but in all seriousness, we're here to warn the people to, warn the people to flee the wrath to come. Mm -hmm. And judgment is coming. Mm -hmm. And we as a people know that things going on on this earth that displeases God. And we need to, even with ourselves, we need to pray and ask God, shine your light from heaven upon my soul, God. If you find anything in me that shouldn't be, take it out and strengthen me. That, and we need to be praying for the nation, you know, not hating people, not hating Biden or, or, or Trump because of all the truth of the enemy. We need to be praying like God said. Mm -hmm. We need to pray and ask God, you know, to show them the, 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 what they, they wrongdoing, just like we have wrongdoing. Lord, mm -hmm. show them that. Exactly. But, but see, we don't want to do what God says do. But we got to do this. We, we got to line up with the word in these last days yes. because there's going to be a lot of people getting left. When he called rapture time, it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna come in on Sundays after Sunday and Monday. And and, and rapture time on Sunday, if, if, if he call it Sunday, it's gonna be a lot of people left. Inside church. So uh if you don't know Christ and the part of your sin, now is the time to accept him, to make him Lord and Savior over your life, because tomorrow is not promised to none of us. So, but you can assure yourself of a home and glory right now by asking Christ, if you're not saved, to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior. So, if you're not saved right now, I want you to bow your head right where you are and pray with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Be my Lord and be my savior and my redeemer. I will follow you. Take hold of my hand because I don't know the way and lead and guide me every step of the way. Jesus, I have decided to follow you.